Now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Mark Munoz. His presenters are his former head coach and assistant coach, Mike Minham and Mr. Bob Gonzalez, Sr. Mark Munoz, better known as a Philippine wrecking machine. In high school, Mark was a two-time California State Wrestling Champion at 189 pounds for Vallejo High School. He was an A6 First Team All-American and a 1996 NHSCA National High School Champion. Additionally, Mark was a three-year member of the Felix Junior World Wrestling Team, earning the silver medal in 1998. As a collegian at Oklahoma State University, Mark received a Bachelor of Science degree in Health Science, as well as being a four-time starter for the wrestling team. Mark captured two Big 12 titles and earned back-to-back -back all america honors at 197 pounds, including his NC2A title as a senior in 2001. Mark is currently sixth in the all-time winning list for Oklahoma State University. Of special note, Mark became the first Filipino-American at the Division I level to win a national championship. Mark made the National Wrestling Coach Association all-academic team for three years and the Big 12 all-academic squad for four. Mark then got into coaching in 2001, where he coached at Oklahoma State University for two years. Mark then moved to UC Davis from 2003 to 2008 to help coach, which he aided in the school's first national champion and All-American, Derek Moore. UC Davis also had a top 25 ranking in the nation and a top three finish in the Pac-10s. Mark then moved down south to Orange County and in 2008, where he is now currently coaching at Cal State Fullerton. In addition, Mark continues to be an FCA motivational speaker for wrestling tournaments and is a founder and owner of the West Coast Wrestler, which includes camps, clubs, and clinics. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2010 California Hall of Fame, Mr. Mark Munoz. All right, got my timer right here. <laughs> oh, he started already, I better go. All right, so. Guys, this is a, a tremendous honor. Uh, first off, I just thought I'd like to thank uh, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, um, for where all blessings flow. And uh, without Him, nothing would be possible. Um, also, like to the, to thank the California Wrestling Hall of Fame induction um, Hall of Fame selection committee. Thank you so much for uh, inducting me. My parents, Rodolfo and Melda Munoz, for always being an inspiration and motivation in my life to become a, a better man and an athlete. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank my, uh, my wife, Christy, for, for just your undying um, sacrificial love and support for me in everything that we did and, and are doing with our four beautiful children as well. I'd um, like to thank my sister for always being a, uh, a huge role model in my life, for always being there for me. Um, and I'd like to thank my high school coaches, uh, Mike Minhan, Bob Gonzalez Sr., and David Lydell. Uh, Coach Lydell couldn't make it, but you guys actually sparked the love of wrestling in me, and um, for that I'll be eternally indebted to you guys. Um, I'd also like to thank my college coaches, John Smith, Mark Cody, and Mark Perry as well. They, uh, they continue to love for me at Oklahoma State. And um, I'll, I'll continue to be uh, thankful for them as well. Also, like to thank my uh, my MMA Inc. family. Thank you guys for being here, uh, Mike Roberts and Jeff Meyer. Uh, those guys are they took me in when they just knew me as a wrestler, and now they're transforming transforming me into a mixed martial artist. So, thank you guys for being here, and my uh, dear friend Uriah Faber and role model. He was just here that got me into the sport. So, I appreciate you guys for being here as well. Um, uh, guys, this is a tremendous, op tremendous honor for me. Um, I never ever thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be a uh, Hall of Famer. But, uh, it, you know, I fell in love with the sport of wrestling at the age of 13 and never, and never looked back since. I learned so many lessons in the sport of wrestling that, that I'll keep with me throughout my life. And um, those include desire, you know, which is the, the longing or hoping for and 
I always wanted to be the best that I can be in, in, in anything. And I got into the sport of wrestling, and I knew I wanted to become a state champion. And um, my coaches actually uh, fostered that love for me and the sport of wrestling. Um, so, and then they also they also sparked the uh, the, the the goal setting aspect of it as, as well, which is direction. And I, without that direction, much like you need directions in order to get to a certain destination. I was lost at first. I didn't know where to go, but they directed my path. They gave me, they gave me direction. They gave me, you know, what are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals? And I set those goals and looked to the long-term and actually, actually, um, actually uh, achieved them. And um, you know, the 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 third D is diligence. And without working hard. Without the, the work ethic, I wouldn't be able to accomplish what I accomplished both in high school and, and, and in college as well. And discipline, um, which is training that corrects models and perfects, perfects the mental faculties or moral character. You need discipline in all aspects of your life. You need discipline in your, in your, in your life. You need discipline in your choices. You need discipline in, in, in everything that you do. And, and wrestling definitely, definitely demonstrates that. And um, I learned I learned all these things from from wrestling, and I think that one of the most important things I learned was dedication. The times I didn't want to go into the wrestling room, those were the best times to go and practice. And um, and I never missed a practice. I always always went, even though I was sick. I went and I practiced, and uh, and I learned a lot from it. And and these life lessons, I managed to to apply in every situation. Whether on the mat or circumstance, circumstance in life, um, I learned through the sport of wrestling that that no matter what type of adversity you that you arrive to, that that you can rise above it. And uh, this is this is what I try to teach everyone that I come into contact with, whether they come to my clinic or my gym or my camps. I encourage them to to keep striving forward and to rise above any adversity that they that they may face. And um, and um, you know, I, I also I also tell them that your life experiences shape and mold you into the person you are today. And I'm so thankful that God has given me the opportunity to wrestle, and He's put those experiences in my life, and um, has put wonderful people in my life that actually shape and mold me into the person I am today and am becoming. So thank you for for this wonderful honor. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. Mark Munoz.